We ask for healing of the mind, bodies, and souls for everyone in this room and on the prayer list, God. God, you know the healing we, that we each need, hallelujah. We thank you for being the doctor in the sick room and the healer of all diseases, God. And God, we are praying for all the heavy hearts for those who are going through bereavement right now, God. Even when we know things are going to happen, hallelujah. It is still so hard when that day comes. Even when we know our loved ones are in no more pain, it is still so hard. God, we ask that you help anyone going through any kind of pain. Strengthen them to pray their way through all their heartache and pain. And to find some joy in knowing that their loved ones are walking around heaven in their new bodies, pain-free. Hallelujah. And in your presence, God. Hallelujah. Father God, we want to continue to lift up our children. Keep your loving arms around them as they travel to and from and even during school. Give them peace in their minds and heart to be able to go to school and study and not have to worry about any kind of danger. Keep the guns and all kinds of weapons out of the school in our children's hands. Hallelujah. Teach them about love for one another and that whatever they may be going through, violence of any kind is not the way to handle it. Hallelujah. Father God, we lift up this country for a healing, a healing only you can fix God. As we know you can, Take away the hatred and violence, God, that man has created. Change the minds and hearts of those who have no respect for human life and those who want to tear this country apart. God, you are the God who performs miracles. Father God, you've done it before, and we need and believe you can do it again. And we are going to put a praise on it right now, God, that it is done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, God for what you are about to do right now. God, we know we have to do our part also for change. We can't sit home and not vote during the election this year. A no vote is a vote for someone who wants to be a dictator and don't know you, God. God, we can't go backwards. And I know this is true. <laughs> you can fix it. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray this prayer in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah to your name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sister, family. Glory to God. Hallelujah for that powerful prayer this afternoon. Glory to God. Amen. What a way to start our day. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. At this time, praise God, we will have our next prayer warrior, Sister Betty Harris, with our prayers, prayer list, words of encouragement. Hallelujah. Come on in, sister. Amen. Amen and amen. The prayer has gone up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We feel the Lord in the midst of our noonday prayer today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We know that whoever receives me, receives not me, but him who sent me. Mark 9, 37. We know as I call out the names on our prayer list, our Father knows that what they are in need of. We say, Lord, he who endures to the end shall be saved. Mark 13, 13. Lord, we know, Lord that we have a purpose in life to seek him. We have a purpose to know him, to follow him, to enjoy him, because he will always be your dearest friend. We have a purpose to praise him every day we get up, our Father. We have a purpose to praise you. As we put our feet on the floor, we praise you. At night when we go on our knees, we praise you. We know that God is in control. Continue to sit on the throne, our Father. As I call out these names, our Father, she said earlier, there are so many that suffer in our Father, in pain and discomfort, our Father, for one reason or another, without income, on the Gaza Strip, running for their lives from guns and other ammunition that may be going by them, without food, our Father. But God sees all. As we call out these names, our Father, we will continue to pray for each and every one of them because, God, we see it. Prayers are being answered. 
We continue to pray for Takir. What a mighty God we serve. We know what our Sunshine Miracle Bag is going through. And I recorded her this week walking the neighborhood. We know what Takir has gone through. What a mighty God we serve. Our prayers are being answered. She is walking the neighborhood without a cane, without a walker, without any support in the sunshine. And I had just had to park my car and record her as she walked. We continue to pray for Bishop and First Lady Sharon Stables of the Temple of Praise and all of their members of Father Pastor Jackie Stevenson, the Warner family, the Williams family, the Queen family. Lord, you know what they all may be going through. We continue to pray for the Gaines family, my family, the Harris family. Continue to pray for my two sons that are having prostate issues. We pray for the Walker family, the Perry family. Continue to pray for her as she bereaved her husband. Victoria and Isaiah, Jackie Jones, Sonny Nichols, our father. We continue to pray for him to stay healthy. Lolita and family. As I go back to Sonny Nichols, we prayed for him and he's driving, taking his wife around. Oh, Heavenly Father, we see our prayers are being answered. Lolita and family, Dr. Donald Anderson, Gloria and Curtis, Cousin Gloria Miles, William Gibbard. We continue to pray for Pastor Bob Wingfield and Sister Yolanda, our Father. You know any health issues that they may have, step in, our Father, as they do your work, our Father. Continue to bless them and their family in a mighty way. We continue to pray for Dr. Gertie Wingfield. She's going through something, but continue to get up in her 90s continue to cook every day. I know with a stroke and one side is completely paralyzed, but she cooks every day. And good spirit, our father, Patricia and Margaret, our father, sisters, our father, that are coming together because they both are ill. Sister Margaret Wingfield, she's having problems, as you all know, with dementia, and she's just having a rough time, our father. She's seeing things that's not there. She's missing things that's not missing. But, God, we continue to pray for her as she lives alone. Juanita and Barbara Chanel, Edith and Jesse Mark, Martin, Aunt Eloise and Beverly and Tim, Russell Stewart and family, Teresa Moore and Pinky, Pauline and Pastor Jay, Patricia Height, daughters and family, continue to pray for Terrell Fields as he's doing good and staying close to home. We pray for James McLean to continue to pray for him and Ann with their health, any health issues that he may be having. Doretha and LaDonna and Aaliyah Johnson, Angela Johnson, our community, Maplewood, any community that anyone's on this line, keep us safe, our Father, as we go to and fro in our cars, as we go to the store, to the bank, or any doctor's appointment, keep us safe, our Father. We continue to pray for Cousin Julian Rowland, Paula Garrett, Ella Penn, the Gray family, Anita and family. Mr. Rogers, the Kirksey family down in Florida, keep them safe. The Campbell family, entire family. Lord Reggie and Manding, this is Walker, her spinal surgery. We pray that she's doing well. Mildred Davis, and patients with viruses, Lord. They are still being diagnosed with different viruses. All of them are coming up, Lord. We just pray that those that are in the medical field are able to confront all of the viruses that's coming out right now and that we're able to get what we need to keep safe. Patients on dialysis, Lord, keep them safe, our Father. Keep them away from any type of infection. And, Lord, you are a miracle worker. Take care of them all. Those on chemo, radiation, physical occupation, those on birth, speech therapy, anxiety, and panic disorder. Those, all of them, Lord, keep them, our Father. Protect them, our Father. Continue to endure it, our Father, as they do so they can feel better. Lord, those in nursing home, hospital, those incarcerated, let them get the medical treatment they need. The elderly, Lord, those that are on addictions to drugs, alcohol, food, sin, mental illness, dementia. Lord, you are in control. You sit high, but you look low. As I call out the names, you know, our Father, what they are in need of. Those that are bereaved, our Father, there are so many that are losing their loved ones. Let them know, our Father, their loved ones, no more pain, no more suffering, and we'll all be together one day at a family reunion, Lord. We pray for frontline workers. Keep them in good health and safe. We pray for Sister Agnes Price and her grandchildren, her great-grand, our Father. They're going to church now and serving the Lord. Oh, what a mighty God. And keep her with her thyroid condition. Continue to bless her and keep her in good health. Kathy and Gerald Green. Madeline Robinson, my auntie that's 94 years old, still live alone, our father. She has good days and bad, but one thing I know for sure, she continued to praise and serve the Lord. 
at 94 years old. We pray for Peggy Murphy, Pastor Charles Riley with his eye condition, Paula Dorsey, who's been incarcerated for so many years, 17 years. We pray to God you open doors that should be open, and close doors that should be closed, that he may be able to help his parents that's up in age right now. Tom and Ava C. Taylor, the glass fees, the gas skills, the bells, my sister with her husband with Parkinson and she was sarcoidosis, our father. Continue to bless them as they take care of each other, but more importantly, as God continue to take care of them. The DeBoses, children and teachers, Lord, in the classroom, in the college classroom, from the great little ones, our father, all the way up to the ones that are in college. Keep them safe on the campus, in the school classroom. The teachers as well, our father. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless them. We plead the blood of Jesus over all of them. Tamika and family, Bobby Van and Bree, Wanda Jones, our father. She continued to be on dialysis for many, many years. Keep her safe, our father. She's in good spirit and love the Lord. Broadway family, the sisters, circle, and family, all of us is on this line. Bless each and every one of us. Keep our faith, our father. Let us hold on to your unchanging hand and our family. The Women's Prayer Circle will continue to pray for everyone. Janice Willis, Monica's dad, Dr. and Mrs. Washington, Melinda Peacock, Gladys Cody, Rebecca Washington. We continue to pray, continue to pray for her. Ms. Burdell is in her late 80s, our father, has to go back on chemo, but God is still in control. On Harriet Key, Linda Paxton is doing well. She had an infection, had to go to the hospital for a while. But she's doing much better now. We continue to keep her in prayer. John Tosin with the back problems, and he has a pacemaker. He's doing fine, but he's going to take a long journey overseas. Keep him safe. A Christian Simmons, Reverend Ellen Jackson, James Brown. Oh, Lord, Heavenly Father, Wanda Davis. As I saw her on day before yesterday, we prayed for her because she had a transplant in 2021 from her son who's 27 years old. I remember when he was born. Her second transplant lasted 30 years, and he gave, her son gave her a transplant in 2021. As you know, we prayed for her in the last uh, two and a half, well, less than a month, two and a half months, that she had a lesion that was cancerous on her brain, and that was less than two months ago. I saw her on the day before yesterday. She met me. I was headed to Wanda's home. And she said, no, I'm going to meet you. I'm driving now. We prayed for her. She had a lesion of cancer on her brain that was removed. And now she is driving and looking well. God is good. We kept her on our prayer list. We will continue to pray because we see what God can do. We pray for Rachel and Junior, Andrea Taylor, Charles Key, Edgar Payton, Glenda Clark, Pauline, that had lost her eyes due to shingles. We continue to keep her in prayer. Robert Boone, Sister Janice Cypress, the Fells family, Colonel DeShields, in his aging process. Let him hold on to God's unchanging hand. The Fenner family, Carlos in Brazil, that lost his mobility. Anthony Carlo, Diane Fields, Anthony Harris. We pray that he find his way in life. He is in his 50s now, but God knows our Father direct his path. Lawrence and Gwenda, Mrs. Coleman, in her 90s, as I said before, with cancer, and the doctors said they're not going to do anything. She's not in any pain and living comfortably in her mid-90s. Larry Saab, Kia Fisher, Vera Graydon, and Joey Carter, Lillian Park, up in well over 100 now, now, but see, Mia Queen and her family, the little baby's doing fine. If his daughter was up in age when she had the little baby, I saw a picture of her yesterday. She's doing fine in the baby. We continue to pray for her daughter that had a mastectomy uh, back in the fall. She's doing well back at work. I pray for my two cousins, Diane and Carl, up in age, a little younger than me, but they're going through difficulty. Diane has to be placed back on um, oxygen and Carl and breathing problems and going through so much. And I said last week that something is, is going wrong with her uh, the, um a coupon that she gets for her medication, because her medication is over $4,000. And as I said before, my sister Darlene, her medication is over $4,000. So with their insurance and these different coupons that they give them, let that continue, our Father. We know there's many people out here that's on medication that they cannot afford. 
We continue to pray for Anthony Caldwell, Lawrence, Michelle Williams, Tasha, Robert Boone, Mandy and Reggie, and Evelyn and the Thomas family. We continue to pray for Juanita as she travels to and from up the road, our Father. Continue to take care of her as she travels, our Father. And what she's doing today, be in the midst, our Father. Be in the midst and bless her in a mighty, mighty, mighty way. We continue to pray for Patrice. As I said, she had an infection as she went on a cruise. And with her kidney, she was doing self-dialysis. But now she has to go in. But we continue to pray for her because she works every day, young lady. We continue to pray for her as her son is in college. And I know he worries about his mom. We pray for Cheryl more than needs to follow. Corey Taylor is a little 17-year-old that's an invalid, can't talk, can't walk, but God, she gets the care that she needs. We thank you for that. The Barber family, Edward family, Renee Thomas, Miss Sydney and her son. She's a prayer warrior. We miss her on our prayer line. We continue to pray for Miss Sydney. We pray for Chris Mason, our father, as he's out of ICU and he's in rehab. Johnny Hobbs and her family, General Gaskill, please pray for him as he was fine and coherent the other day, and it was a blessing that his son went down to see about his father because he had an appointment, and he's in the hospital now. Continue to pray for General Gaskill as he's in his early 90s as well. God sent his son down there, and that's the second time that has happened, and we know God. We serve a mighty God. He sits high, but he looks low. He knows what we're in need of before we do. And we thank him. We thank him. We praise him. We love him. We continue to pray for Connie Johnson, the surgery he had on his knee, David Shackelford, Anita's mom is over 100, Gina Gunther and her mom. We pray for the Seawright family, for Sean, the whole entire family, and at Jennings, our father, Beverly Bryan that she had been on the house, but she passed away. We pray for her family, bereaved our father. Nancy and dementia, her husband is sick, her daughter is sick. Lord, there's so many, so many that we, we need. We will continue to pray because we see that prayers are answered. We continue to pray for Aunt Charlene, Uncle Herbert. We continue to pray for the family, covering all seniors, our father, all seniors. That's on this line in our church where we live. We continue to pray for my aunt that gets, she gets the care and the medication that she needs on Malin. We continue to pray for uh, cousin, uh, um, cousin Agnes. Continue to pray for that senior. We continue to pray for my aunt, Dr. Gertie Wingfield. We continue to pray for me and all Aunt Ellen, that they all get the care. We all get the care that we need, our Father. When we in need of it, we call on you to send someone to help each and every one of us Annie Abbott, Clyde Peacock, Renee Sterling, Lord Vivian, that is blind, a very close friend of Sister Price. She refused help from anyone. No one knows what it looks like in the house. No one knows what she looks like. It's been going on for months. She even refused care from her own son. So we continue to keep her in prayer that God would touch her heart and let her receive what she needs. We pray for Baba Jean, on Baba Jean with the mission, and Jay to take care of her. We love you, Lord. We pray for Joe. Joe David. Hello? Somebody want to say something? Hello? Put me on mute, baby. I'm, this is Nina. Um, okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm coming in my room. Okay, yeah, we, that's all right. No, that's okay. We continue to call off the names. We thank you for being on, Sister Nina. George mm -hmm. Davis and Tara Govins, Marcel Govins, Tony Nina's friend, Darla Anderson. We continue to pray for the Burroughs family as I went to visit them on yesterday, and they're doing much, much, much better, both of them. And we thank God for them being on our prayer list. We see prayers and answers. Uh, we pray for all the college students, as I said earlier, Marquise and family. Wanda Davis, Crystal, uh, that had um, chemo, and she's doing fine with her breast cancer. She's 33 years old. She's doing much better. Barbara Talbot, Taisha, Michael Bradford, the entire family, they would be union. That God would bring them together in a union as a family so they could love and take care of one another. Teresa Moore and her health issues. We continue to pray for Pat Greenhill and her family, her daughter, Shana, 
that's out of, she still communicate with her eyes, but she's no longer, uh, she's having rehab at home. Praise God. She stayed in a coma so long. But God, we can see God, his work. We see it every day. Pastor Coates with his polycystic kidney disease, styling her chronic back pain. Eugene Davis with a pacemaker, loss of a kidney. We continue to pray for him. Clara Griffin, I talked to her on her birthday on the day before yesterday. As you know, she lost her eyesight with the dental work that was done and infection got in. We continue to pray for Pearlene Kempson, my granddaughter's other grandmother that's alone down in South Carolina, and she's going through so much because they want her land. Oh, Heavenly Father, you know what's needed before we could ever think of what is needed. God is still in control. We pray for them all that's on our prayer list. Gladys Hudson that had a stroke, Frida Stanley with dementia. We pray that she gets the care that she needs. Needy with a cervical cancer. Dennis Allen, heart, liver, and kidney problems. Cousin Renee and her eye problems. Charlene, our father. Alfonso Harris. Chris, we have, we can say it. Heal him, Lord. Eric Dodding. And one of the uh, deacons at our church continue to pray for him and treatments that he needs. Uh, Uncle Herbert is out of the hospital. Jonathan, the homeless, we continue to pray for him, Lord. As I said, he was in a homeless shelter and someone stole all of his belongings. Pray for Jonathan. He's a young man. We continue to pray for Teresa in um, North Carolina with cataract, glaucoma, Pastor Doc Anderson and family, Izzy with dementia, Aunt Ellen's friend, the Arnez family, he's taking care of his wife and has had several surgeries, and she's blind now because they did not give her the surgery that she needs for cataracts. They're telling him they don't have the equipment because of her cataracts that have gone so far. But we know God sees and hears all. We pray for the Arnez family, Diane Fields, the Eastern Shore. We pray for all of the watermen and the oyster men over there on Eastern Shore that having a hard time right now. Charles Key in the leg surgery, the third surgery, Terry, Terry Campbell, Cedric Mishner, he had a heart attack. We pray for Pat Smith, Kansan Chemo, Juanita and her missionary work. Lord, we continue to pray for her. Those that I have cataract and floaters and pressure on their eyes, our Father, we know that you hear our prayer. Be Sean, our Father, give them the care that they need, the entire family. Mm -hmm. Leah, we continue to pray for those that are in college, our Father. Lord, we know you hear our prayer because every Thursday we call out these names. The young man that passed away in the neighborhood that we have been praying for him, and as you know, the doctor diagnosed him in May to live one month, maybe two months. He passed away last week. Look what God did. I went to visit, as I said last week. He has 10 children. He's a young man in his early 50s, and so is his wife. And you pray for their family, our Father. Continue to pray for their family, the Newman family. His uh, funeral will be on Saturday. 10 children she's left with, and some of them are small, mid teens, and a little older. But God take care of them all. Tiffany Garrett that fell and broke her leg. Cyrus Bell out in Vegas, he has his surgery. Uh, you know he's had trials and tribulations with his children, but we pray for him. His surgery came out good, Juanita said. We are praying for the Andrews family down in Washington, Georgia. He needed a fibrillator and a pacemaker. They were replacing the one he had. They put it in, but somehow it became infected, and he could not be able to go on. So they put him in the hospital. His wife was taking care. While he's in the hospital, she had an MRI and something's wrong with her legs, and now she can't walk. She's very, very upset because she was taking care of her husband. So we take, we pray for the Andrews family. Lord, we call the names out every week, and we know, our Father, that you hear our prayer. We know that you hear our petition for each and every one of them. That's on our prayer list. And we will continue to pray for them, Lord. We will continue to pray for them. We love you, Lord, with all our heart, soul, and mind. And we just thank you, Lord, for being in the midst of our noonday prayer. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' precious name, we say amen and amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. 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 Am
glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Betty. Hallelujah for our prayer list and words of encouragement. Glory to God and the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this time, praise God, we will have our sunshine bear, Takia. Come on in, sunshine bear. Come on in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy, thankful Thursday. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us all the breath of life. It was nothing but you, Lord, that gave us the breath of life. Nobody else but you. Just remember to continue to let your light shine as this sun is out. The Son of God is out. We need to let our sun, we need to let our light shine for the Lord. And as I start off with our daily devotion, VIP status in the kingdom. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 When you want to be that person for the love of Christ, when he comes and get us, because I know God is coming. In these years and in these days of time, these days are just allowing us to stay on our knees and give glory to God. Go to Jesus right now. Come to Jesus right now. And give your life to Christ. Because it's very important. When you want to see your loved one that's up there in heaven, that's in your that's in your heart as angels, I believe in that. But I can't wait till that time comes when God says, Come home and we will be able to see our loved ones. So give your life to Christ. I pray that. I pray that for you if you have not done so. It's very important in your life. Because remember, God is the one that gives us love, peace, happiness, and joy. And he also is the one that will heal our bodies in all areas that we need, in all areas that he knows that we need. He is our healer. He is our protector. And I thank you, Lord. Just remember, God did it for me continuously, and he is still doing it for me. He can do it for you. He's the same God. But don't give up on God. Because he would never, ever give up on you. In Jesus' name, don't forget to let your light shine all day, all night, throughout anything. Let your light shine for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Sunshine Bear. God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Um, as I was sharing earlier, I had to be called away. And so um, I've been driving, praise God, as I have been on the prayer line. And God got me here to my destination, praise God. Hallelujah. So in lieu of having everything else that's going on, praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to now have our prayer, our closing prayer by Sister Ellen Key at this time. Thank you. Amen and amen. Thank you, thank you, and all the beautiful prayers before me. The Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 100 and verse 5. Oh, what a blessing to be connected with God. When everything seems to be falling apart, 
We as God's children need to realize how we are loved by God. There is hope and there is reason. Live again. God is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we be? The fair to run. The Lord of our God, Jesus Christ, please, as we as your children, be given the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in our knowledge. The Father of Son and the Holy Spirit have the eyes of our hearts enlightened that we as God's children may know what in the hope to which we has called, he has called us. Not only was our eyes created with physical eyes to see the beauty of creation around us, we also, he also formed us with spiritual eyes, enable us as God's children to understand the deep things of God. Unfortunately, it didn't take long for God's children to sink into a pit of spiritual blindness due to sin and rebellion. Lord God, of Savior of all of us, our children, open the eyes of our hearts. And all of our hearts, and Lord, we can find peace in prayer, find joy through prayer. It will strengthen our relationship with God. Love, joy, peace, and relief answers are found in the connection with God when we pray can make a dramatic difference in our lives. Until we meet again on the same at the same time, on the prayer line, our prayer warriors, all those that are on the listening audience, peace and blessings to all. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. So we meet again. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you all for your patience and love. Thank you, prayer warriors. Hallelujah. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Everyone have a blessed, blessed week. If it's the Lord's will, we will meet again on next Thursday. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a blessed week. Amen. God bless you, too. Amen. 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 Heavenly traveling to you. Amen. From the miracle sunshine angel bed, everyone.